Hey everyone, just uh, making another quick little video of a custom I did a while back. Uh, it's the uh, 1989 uh, Toy Biz Batwing, and I kind of made it into my own little like G.I. Joe slash Batwing vehicle. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, like I said, it's from the 1989 Toy Biz Batwing. Uh, Picked a few of them up and wanted to do something nice with them and add my own little attachments to this one. Uh, kept the other one custom. But with this one, uh, took the uh, suction gun tube darts out from the tubes that were inside the body and actually replaced them with the 1-6 scale M34 Gatlin guns. Put two of them on the side. Uh, I think they actually look pretty good. They actually rotate and everything. Kind of wanted... I do a lot more to this when I have a chance. I actually want to put a couple motors on the inside so they actually turn the guns themselves and add some LED lights. But that's a project for you know down in the future. Uh, besides the uh, two Gatling guns here, I got another set of mini guns with some rocket launchers. Those were actually off of the uh, click and play attack helicopter. I think they look pretty dang, dang good attaching them on there just cut a little slit into the body to attach and put the gun loop straight right into the where the fin attaches to the body and I think it came out really good for each side uh, the top little missiles that I got like on top just leftover parts when I was taking apart the uh, the uh, bat wing to get everything like the Gatling guns inside and take off the little section cup gun uh, parts the little trigger mechanisms uh, These are just left over so it kind of made like little rocket tubes out of them and just simple drill two little holes and put them on there and I think they came out pretty good uh, Let's see what else I did to it uh, When I spin it all the way around you could see the back and these engines uh, Right here. They're actually off the 1980 snow speeder uh, had a couple laying left over that wasn't new one for a project, so I just popped the engine off of one, and they seemed to fit perfectly. And did a little moderation to the to the color because they were just gray, so charcoaled them up so they look like the engines that have been used and been burnt. I think they came out pretty good. And let's see here on the cockpit inside, as I said, uh, that's, that's why it's slash G.I. Joe, because I actually have snake eyes on the inside flying this thing. Uh, he's got Poe Dameron's helmet <laughs> on him, which fit per, you know, pretty nicely on him. And the steering column that he's actually using. That's from a Cobra water moccasin, the gun turret. I actually just cut off the barrels and uh, melted uh, the bottom part underneath so I could just press it against the uh, plastic part of the body and so it's like glue and it fit perfectly and he actually looks like he has flight sticks uh, like I said it's definitely a work in progress as you Lift that canopy up. I got a hole right there because I'm going to put a screen right there. I want to do some LED lights on the inside of the cockpit with the screen. Uh, light it, put some lights around the body. But eh, that's a project for the future. But just kind of wanted to show, you know, get this custom out there. See if anybody likes. I know I like it. I think it turned out pretty cool and badass for a bat wing. And yeah, G.I. Joe slash Batman Batwing. And like I said, you know, there's going to be people out here that ain't going to like it. It's going to look stupid to them, but hey, that's their opinion. To me, I think it looks pretty dang cool. You know, it looks like a, a Batwing that's going to actually tear some crap apart, you know. Do some, di do some business, do some damage. Definitely loved how those mini guns, these Gatling guns, came out on the inside. Like I said, work in progress. Definitely want to put some motors on the inside so they can rotate the uh, Gatling guns. 
But once again, that's a project in progress. It's going to take a while. <laughs> anyway, well, just wanted to get this out there and show people. Hopefully, hopefully somebody likes it. Okay, well, thank you for reading.